Hi guys, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles. I'm getting ready to do another recording, so stay with me so you can see what we've got. It'll be fun. Thanks. Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles, and I am so looking forward to finishing this metallic bag so we can open another bag of jewelry because we have two more big bags of jewelry to go in our 45 pounds of shopgoodwill.com jewelry. So I, if I look the same as my last video, it's because I am. I am recording these back to back, so just thought I'd let you know. That's why I have the same colors on, the same rings. I just finished the other video, uh, probably episode seven, and I am now back to back recording this one because I want to get done and I want to get moving on to the new bag of jewelry. It's terrible, isn't it? I'm like, I'm never satisfied, but that's kind of the fun of it all, isn't it? And without further delay, I'd like to let you know how to purchase any of the jewelry that you see. Please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com and make sure that you please, please give me these four pieces of information. I will need the video name and episode number, the time stamps, a brief description, and the prices, okay? That would help me a lot, and it would help you too. So thank you for that. Also, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. I still have my iconic subscribe sign. I hope you like it, and I hope that you'll like the video and click the bell so you'll get notified of the next video as soon as it comes out. And then you can email me right away if you see something that you like. So thanks for letting me take time to show you that. So let's get started on what we have left in this metallic video. We have a video in this metallic bag of jewelry. This is a 10 karat gold American flag um, charm or necklace bale. It, um, it must be marked 10 karat gold because I wouldn't have just said that because it's not easy to test 10 karat. They only give us, um, I think, 12 karat. But yes, it's marked 10 karat, and when I did test it with the 12, it came positive. So that is a gold charm or necklace bale in 10 karat gold, and it says SR on it because that's the region. So I will sell that um, gold charm for let's say 45 okay so that's a good start and this ring I still don't know what to do with it it's a vintage sterling silver ring those are all roses it's got this beautiful swooping design look at the back of it so I made I did a silly thing and I took a brush and I brushed inside of here so that I could read that the writing better and it went and took the patina off so I hope no one's disappointed that I removed the patina I didn't mean to remove it all the way across but I usually don't touch the patina of any sterling jewelry so what it says in there not sure how much my phone will get in there but it says um, the letter W 925 in Thailand. I think it's a W or an N. Not sure which, but the stamp is very strong. So it's telling me that the ring probably has never been worn. There's no wear on the stamp at all. But it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. I don't know what to ask for it. I haven't been able to find anything else like it. But let's see, it measures, oh, just my size, just about a little under seven. So for a wide band like this, you want to go a little bit bigger in a ring because of how much the band takes up on your finger. So let's see, I'm about at six and three quarter on this finger. And yeah, it's good. It's really good. So I'd say six and three quarter, a little under seven is correct. Oh boy, I hate to let it go, but that's what I'm here for. 
So I'm gonna say 65 on this. It's quite beautiful and it's quite a sight to behold actually. What a great statement ring and sterling silver that'll last you a lifetime. So if you love that, let me know. I don't even think it's gonna fit in this bag. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just put it in. Yeah, it does. Okay, good, because I want to keep it nice. All right, so we got that done. Now this is really unusual. I think it's a ring. Um, I did see on the Mari website a very similar ring that they had. So I don't know if it's them. It's hard to read the marks on it. It does test for 14 karat gold. I mean, I tested it and tested it, thought, am I wrong? And I'm not wrong, it does test for 14 karat. Um, it is a ring, I believe. I can't imagine that it would be an earring or anything else. It just looks like a very artistically designed ring. So I don't know if that's the maker. All I can tell you is it's 14 karat. It measures about a size eight, and I think it's a ring, um, and I will say 35 on that. So let me know what you think about that. So all I can do is test it and research it and Google search it, which I did all those things, so. Now these, um, these earrings also test as 14 karat not 14 plated, 14 karat, so I put them on here, but they didn't stay. They're just little, again, like little artistic kind of hoop earrings. I put um, a back on this side, but I'm not sure what you would do. I mean, they would probably go right through your ears, so I have no idea. I just know that they're 14 karat, and I don't know what else to do about them if they're earrings or not. So I'll say 20 on those because I was getting really stuck about the video, not knowing what to do. I have these pieces, I can't figure them out. So all I can do is offer them to you and see what you think. Also have this Brighton ring. It's a cutie. It's got rhinestones and like a gold tone color on the top. They do have different names to them, but I did not have the time to look up the name. It does have that little heart inside that's marked Brighton. I just, if I zoom in my phone, it'll never focus the same again, so I hesitate to bother it. Let me see where it is so I can show you. Yeah, it is right there on the bottom. I hope you can see it in the camera, but it's a Brighton ring, and I'm gonna say 25. I saw them go for all kinds of money. I think 25 is fair for Brighton. And again, I didn't look up the name because it's just gonna take me too long. And I'd much rather get back to the video. So that's the Brighton ring. Oh, you need to know what size it is. It is a size eight, right on a size eight. Size eight for Brighton, 25. Okay, now this thing I still don't know what to do with. It is turquoise. It's marked SU925. And it has this opening right here. It may A chain may go through it. Um, we could do that with maybe a sterling chain. I am kind of holding on to see if it fits into anything. But it does not fit. Like it looks like it should fit in there, right? But it doesn't. Nothing has fit in here yet, so that one's kind of bothering me. This one's bothering me too because I've had a lot of interest in it. It is so cool, but I still have no idea what it says inside. It's in another language, and I'm just at a dead stop on this one. Don't know what to make of it. I really apologize. I wish I could give you a better answer. These two rings are sterling silver. One of them is kind of split, so I'll just price this as if it's just one ring. But it looks like they were worn together. 
as a pair. So I'll just throw in the second one for free and we'll measure this one. It's a little under seven and I'll say 15 on the sterling ring. Now something very, very exciting to share with you is this is a sterling silver pin. I think some of you noticed this on maybe the untangling video, I'm not sure. Those are marcasites and I did test it. It's not marked sterling, so I was very surprised, but it's definitely all sterling silver, and it may be a World War II, um, like, ace pilot pin. I have chills just talking about it. But I have to do a little more research. They do go for quite a lot, depending on what era they're from. But isn't it beautiful? Doesn't it just really get you right there? So I wanted to share that with you. I'm so excited about that pin. I'll put it right up there for now. And then I have this ring. This is pretty. It has a sizer inside. It is a garnet ring. And it's gold over sterling. Now, if you'd like, I can take the sizer out. But uh, I'll, so I'll measure it first, and then you can let me know if you want me to take it out. So it measures just under a seven like it is. Uh, I guess I can't tell you what it measures without it, can I? I don't know what to do. Maybe I should pop that off. Um, I will bring up Miss Percy up here so you can see that it tests as a garnet. And it did test as sterling, gold over sterling. So that was really fun to find a very pretty garnet ring. These are probably cubic zirconias. They're so tiny I wasn't able to test it with the little tiny little, not so tiny, I'm sorry, tip of the pen on Presidium. It's small, but it's not as small as you need it to be sometimes for these little tiny stones. So we'll put that aside for a minute. And then I have a garnet, diamond, and gold looks like a pendant because it has this little loop right here. So I guess they just decided to throw a couple things in the bag without the chain because I, oh, this might have gone on the 10 carat chain. It might have been, I don't know. But it is garnet, diamond, and 14 karat gold. So now that she's warmed up, let's start with this pendant and garnet. Tourmaline is that line. That, see, that says garnet, tourmaline, and iolite right there on that line. So that's what we're looking for. And it goes, whoops, I slipped off of it. It goes exactly to the middle of it, so this is definitely a garnet, which is very nice. And let me see. Yeah, up at the top, up at the top there, there's a diamond inside of that crown. If I catch it just right, you can see the little flat table that it's on. I will try to get it so you can see that it is one, but it's not easy because it's so tiny. Come on, honey. We got lots to do. Come on there, girl. Oh, I don't want this to beep. It's a horrible sound on a video. Okay, let me look one more time, really in the loop. So I can get the the pen right on there. And hopefully we'll get it this time. Yes, well you can see that it goes right up there. I mean. There we go. So that's the diamond. I'll try to slide over. Oh, I wanted to show you that I have it right on there. It's hard to show you both. Well, it's a diamond, and it's in gold, and it's one of those, I think you call them a clad off. So this is very beautiful, and I'll say 65 on this. I'll get a little bag for it. So, um... Yeah, I wish I had a chain to go with it too, but I don't. There is the back. It does look quite vintage. And that's nice that it has a little diamond in it too. Very pretty. So that's that one. Um, 
this, we were going to test for a garnet as well. And there you go, right in the middle. So there's your garnet. I will try again to test these little stones on the side, but I hope I don't beep you. See how difficult it is? Oh, oh I don't want to keep beeping. Try one more. Come on, Miss Percy. Come on, babe. I can't. It does look like it shoots right up there. It could be little diamonds on the side. I hope it is, because that would be really pretty. So that's that one. It's garnet, maybe diamonds, not sure. Gold over sterling. And we already measured the size. And I'll say 45 on this one. And if you want me to take that ring sizer off, I'll be happy to. And then measure the ring again. But just in case someone wants it in there, I don't want to take it off. Now, very exciting, very exciting ring that I found is this one. It's so cool. I looked at it and I thought, well, that's kind of neat, right? It's a sterling silver ring, although I didn't know it was sterling at first. And then I thought, well, let me just test these little stones because they look real to me. And every one of them that I tested is a gemstone. So we've got pearl, onyx, um, probably garnet, um, turquoise, jade, um, lapis, gold beads. There is um, another gold bead there. So just everything you can think of on the ring. I'll see if I can get some of the testings on the Presidium for you. So I'm touching like a reddish little stone. It's going to garnet. Now also these move around, so I'm trying to test them and they move. So it's called a kinetic ring. All these beautiful stones on it. This is probably citrine. Yep, it goes right to that area for citrine. And let's see, this one's kind of purple. So if I can get it, it will probably be amethyst. It's really tough. This is an onyx. It's just so hard to test them when they're wiggling around. But they're all the stones you'd expect them to be. And the ring is, let's see, what's it called? It, it's by Tana, A-C-T-O-N. I went on the website and she has a kinetic ring exactly like this, but only with spinel for 125. It doesn't have all these different gems. It just has spinel. You're welcome to go look at it. It's T-A-N-A-A-C-T-O-N on the website. It's called Kinetic Ring with Spinel for 125. And then in, on eBay, I found some bracelets that, again, were just one single stone, and they're 175 to 250 So we have a sterling silver ring with all these gemstones on it from this designer. They move around. It's just so cool. Really excited about this find. Now, of course, it's adjustable, which is another incredible thing. You just have to love that about any ring. It's sitting at about a six and a half right now. But as you know, you can bend it wider or smaller because it's sterling and sterling is um, a softer metal. So I'll let you see close up one more time. There's pearls. There's all kinds of garnet, amethyst, jade, probably some green... Um, Aventurine or something like that. I may be saying it wrong. Lapis. That looks like a... Um, oh, what's that stone that looks like metal? And then that's a rock crystal. Another gold bead. So you've got 
the idea of what I'm talking about. So just the ring on her website with only one stone is 125. Um, so it's tough to know what to ask for this because it's probably older and much more valuable with all those different stones. So I am going to say 150 on the ring and see what you think. If someone loves it, loves that it's sizable and has all that cool stuff and it moves, then you'll let me know. But I thought that was so much fun. Really excited about that one. Okay, so that goes over here because I already told you about it. I gotta hurry, hurry. Because we got lots to go over. I also have three of these. Again, I don't know what they came off of. They are glass, but they're in sterling silver. So they're really cute. Not sure if I'll put them on chains or what I'll do, but if it's something you're interested in, let me know. But they're glass over sterling, in sterling. And I'm thinking they probably went to something. Don't know. Then we have this brooch. Um, I did look into this. And I saw, every time I saw one like it, they said it was very old. So I think I'm right in assuming that this is a pretty old pin. Also because it's on the C-class and the pin is quite long. So that's another reason we might think this is old. The thing that surprised me about it was it's not sterling silver all the way through. However, I did see several of these pins. They were called orchids. And they said they were, um, what do they call it? When you lay a metal over something gilded, they were sterling gilded. So not sure, but that's what they said. Some of them were... They called it fine filigree, vintage European. Some of them said 835 silver. Um, some of them said unmarked 800 silver. I would say this is a gilded silver because I can tell it's not silver all the way through. Also, there's a little spot here for a bale, and I saw bales on the other ones. It could be a pin or a bale. Um... The prices were all over the place, so I don't know what to ask. Some of them were in the 250s. Some of them were, you know, like $50. So really tough to know what to ask for this. I think if you love it, I'll just say $30, and it will have a nice new home. So there's your C-clasp, your very long pin. I'll put it back on here with all these notes because I can't say exactly what it is, but... I do think it's an orchid. Certainly the other ones had a little bale, so that's that one. What would be next? There were so many things in here that were like just baffling to me. So this ring, look how beautiful that is. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous ring. Beautiful orange yellow color and it has baguettes on the side. It tests as cubic zirconia and it has some word in it. It looks like B-E-T-A. It could be um, 8-F-T-A. I have no idea. It does not test as gold. It does test as cubic zirconia. And I couldn't find anything on the name. So again, all I can do is tell you what I found, what it tests as, the size of it. It's a 6 and it's a beautiful ring. Don't see any wear anywhere. And I'll say 20 on this one. Yeah, it could say 8, E-E-T, S-F-T. It could say any of these. But this is what it looks like inside. It has that, an F that could be an E, a top of a T and a top of an A, just to let you know what's in the ring. So oh, don't know what that is, but that's what I'm sticking to. Then we have a Sarah Coventry. Isn't that adorable? A little pearl, gold and pearl Sarah Coventry ring, and it's marked inside Sarah Coventry. Of course, it's adjustable. It's sitting right now at a five and a half, and it's so cute. And the pearl is in really good shape. A cute little wide band on it. Just thought that was adorable. 
So we have that Sarah Coventry ring. And I'll say 15 on this one. Oh, these bags. I, I had hoped I would never be a YouTuber that uses those bags, but I have to now. Because it kind of protects things, you know. Also, I found this micro mosaic brooch from Italy. It's marked Italy on the back, right there in the middle. It's beautiful, and from what I can see, it's in perfect condition. I don't see anything missing or cracked. I don't have perfect eyesight, but it's in great condition. It certainly is in near perfect condition. So there you go. Beautiful rose in the middle. All those lovely beads around the outside. I think it's in just marvelous condition. And I love that it's signed Italy. So my price on this is 45 I see them go for more, but I'm going to say 45 on this one. So if you always wanted to own a micro mosaic, here you go. Let me know, okay? Next we have, we already did that ring, we did those. Okay, I guess I'll put these back in here. So I keep it all in order. And I don't know what to do with this guy. I'm just gonna, I guess, keep it up here. So that's good, we've got all those pieces done. Hope you love them, and I want to just put them away because they're precious metals and things. Now, next, you might remember this vintage check glass necklace. Isn't it beautiful? I really do want to keep it. I just, I can't keep everything, and I do have a lot of bills to pay, so I've got to, I have to let things go, and keep what I really truly love. So the the um, clasp on it is marked sterling on the top and it works fine. I showed you that in the last video and I watched a video recently and the woman was talking about what kind of glass this would be and I think she's right about that. She said that this is check glass and it's crystal. It feels heavier than glass which this is definitely heavier than glass so I would have to venture to say it's check glass and it's crystal. I just know this. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's on sterling silver with the clasp and it's phenomenal. It has little tiny blue beads in between as well. So let me measure it and sit down so you don't faint at the price. But I really think that we're not going to see much of these around anymore. It's 24, let's see, 12 and 12 is 20, 24 inches long, which is a really beautiful length. It's just a great length to wear with just about anything. So I don't want to let it go, but I'm going to. There's your absolutely stunning blue crystal necklace at 22 inches, and I'm going to say 65. I just think you can't walk into a store and buy something like this anymore. Not of this quality. I think it's worth it. Um, I've done my research. And as usual, I'll see what you all say. Because you're really wonderful about letting me know what you think. Especially if you love it. I'll hear from someone right away. If not, then I'll have to see what to do in the future. But I'll say 65 on that one, okay? Next is, this is so cute, it's a very long necklace made of um, gold tone bars. I do think it has a little bit of age on it. All I did was give it a little washing and it came up really shiny. I think with a little more washing it would get even better. But it's quite a long necklace. Is that a... I thought maybe it didn't have a um, a clasp on it, but I'm seeing that this ring is a little bit larger. Hmm. But it doesn't open. 
Maybe there was a clasp here at one time. Well, regardless of that, it's a really long necklace. I thought it was really worth showing. It is 46, 48 inches long. I think it's beautiful. I think it would look great on anyone. And you could certainly double it. And another reason I'm showing it is not only is it fantastic vintage, but also there's these little earrings I noticed that look a lot like the chain. Isn't that so cute? They just have the same little gold bars on them. So I just couldn't resist keeping these together. I don't know if they were made together or if the person just found them and wore them together. Not sure, but I think it's so cute. So super long gold tone vintage chain in these gold bars, really good shape. It moves nicely. It's really a good piece. And then these earrings, which is really cute together. So I will say 25 on this, okay? And I don't have the bag to put it in, but that's okay. All right, what's next? I want to keep on moving. So next we have this faux Labradite necklace from Anne Klein. We saw this in our Untangle video. It's so cute. I love the big Rolo chain. I'm pretty sure that's a faux. Yeah, it is. That's the back of it. It almost looks like it has a mother of pearl inside there too something um, pearlescent in there. So it's a double-sided and Klein, nice chunky chain, measures 16 inches and another two inch extender. And on the and Klein, I'll say $12. Okay, then we have this bracelet. It probably is how light dyed to look like turquoise. It's a silver tone bracelet, and the last time I had one like this, um, a lot of people wanted it, so thought I'd offer this one too. So let's move Buster, get our bracelet measure. This measures, oh, I'd say seven and three quarters, and then you could link this anywhere along here so you could make it smaller, but I think the biggest it could get is seven and three quarters. And I'll say $5 on that. The next piece I'll show you is this very exciting piece that we talked about a lot in the comments. And I found that this is a Mari designer necklace. There's no way I can price it on the channel because it's an oldie. I think it's one of the first, and yeah, their pieces go for quite a lot, and I'm going to have to put this one on eBay because I just don't know what to price it as, but it's signed right there. It's beautiful. It has the older spring ring clasp, so when I really don't know what to price something at all, I'll just put it on eBay and see what happens with the bidding. So wish me well on that one. Next, I have this uh, beautiful aqua brooch. It is quite the piece. It is a pin here, and it has a bail that you could wear it as a necklace. Yeah, I guess it goes this way, because the bail is up here. Unless it moves a little, I don't know. But I think it's so cute. I did clean it up. It cleans up nicely. You have your danglies here and your flower, and I'll say $12 on that pretty thing. Then I have this fabulous vintage Byzantine type chain. Look at the hook on it. Isn't that great? It's like I almost see a signature on it because it should have one. But it clasped this way, just like the vintage necklaces do. And look at the chunkiness of this pretty beautiful necklace. 
Isn't that a classic? It's very chunky and nice, and I wish my lights were better. But now that I'm videotaping at night in the dark, it is not as good as in the day. So apologize for that. But I'll try to get it as much in the light and up close as I can so you can see the style of the chain. That's that one. Again, it's got the hook clasp. Beautiful condition on the chain. There's no wear on the back. Looks like it's never been worn. And that's the chain up close. Isn't that beautiful? So this measures, got my light in my way. This is over 24 inches of hunky gorgeousness. It's really a beautiful piece. And I'm gonna say 35 on that. Classic, vintage. Hope you love it. This bracelet we found, I think, in the untangling. And it has all these chains, but the chains are attached together. I think you call that chain mail, I'm not sure. I did clean it up, it cleaned up very nicely. So I thought it was definitely worth showing. It's a lovely bracelet with a toggle clasp. And I'll give you a measurement of it, but I'm gonna measure it down on the table where you can't see. And I'll take into consideration the toggle. So once the toggle is closed, it's about a little under eight inches. So almost eight inches on the bracelet. I think it's in great shape. I think it'll give a lot of years of wear. There's no markings on it. And I'll say $8 for that lovely piece. Next is this Oh, by the way, this is a um, Pandora charm, and I realized it's not on a bracelet. This is how they sell their charms on these little pieces of leather, so <laughs> I figured that out. But it is Pandora. I checked the, the signature and checked against fakes and things, and it's a real one. And it's a pink cubic zirconia Pandora charm or necklace, whichever. And they go for $30 at least, and I'll say 20 So that's that one. Next is this older, but very pretty. I have to kind of flip it around a little. I'll show you because if you buy it, you'll have to do this too. Just have to flip these around, and then they behave themselves. But this is a trying to see what the class says. A chaps. An older chaps necklace. Isn't that cool? And it's got the faux turquoise and it's trying to look like um, turquoise and um, lapis and red coral. That's what it's trying to look like. And it's doing a beautiful job, I think. It's a lovely necklace. It has all these little tiny beads on the bottom too. And again, the chain is really excellent. Look at the hang tag, great condition. I love saying that. Measure it for you. It is, oh, it's about 18 inches and then another inch or two extender. So that's our chaps necklace. And I'll say $12 on that. That's a lot of beads and they feel nice. They are cold, so maybe some of them are stones. They could be. Well, I know some of them are going to be dyed halite. Oh, I turned Miss Prissy off, so I'll have to wait on that. But Okay, so that's that one. Next, I have this cute little brooch. It's very sparkly, in great condition, a cute little flower. And I'm not sure. It's just kind of gold tone all of a sudden on the back. Oh, I see. So it's probably rhodium plated and a little bit of the plating came off there and right there. But it's pretty. I think it has a lot of life left in it and I'll say $5. The rhinestones are really cute. 
very sparkly and in good shape. Next, I don't know what this is, but it's very interesting. The colors are very 70s, I think. It's this coral color, a green, a red, turquoise color, and then a black. And it's on this bracelet with a spring ring clasp. And then on the back are all these shells and C sort of things. So it's like a, a double, you can wear it one way or wear it the other. It looks very Sarah Coventry to me, but it's not marked that I can tell. Yeah, I've looked and looked and it's not marked. So all I can do is tell you what I see and feel in here. Not here, but what I see and feel and test. Seven inches on the bracelet. It's really cute and good shape. And I'll say $8 on that. Okay. Then we have an Alex and Ani, and it is sterling. I tested it already. And what's on this one? Um, what are you? It is, I don't know, like an arrowhead. And I usually sell these for $7 a piece, so this one is seven. I remember having another one too. Where is it? Oh, here it is. And over the, I think over Thanksgiving, I had two people that wanted the same bracelet. Oh, this isn't it. Anyway, this is $7 as well. It has this sterling silver, um, you know, decorative piece on it. So that's seven. And I thought I had another one with like the letter G on it, but not turning up right now. Okay, also there's another sea creature type bracelet. It has a magnetic clasp. It's silver tone. Um, yeah, I don't know what to make of it. It has these lovely crystals all in here. They're big and then they get really small. There's a crystal in here. Stingray has crystals in his eyes. It's a cool piece for sure. No markings that I can find. Um, so all I can do again is just give you the measurement and look one more time. Nope. And see what you think. Measures about almost to seven inches. It's quite detailed. I think, is it magnetic? I don't remember. No, so it's probably over copper. But that's that bracelet, and I'll say $6 on that. I like all the little crystals that they put in there. Okay. Um... I don't know what things to like pass by and what things to offer, but sometimes I feel like someone will love something and I don't show it. So I'm showing this nice beefy chain. It's on a lobster clasp. It's a darker gold tone and has some faux pearls and some coins on the side. And then it hangs like that. So it would look like this. I think it's a very pretty piece, so I didn't want to pass it by. So that's how it goes, and I know coin jewelry can be very fashionable. So I will, oops, I think I broke the camera too much. It is 30 inches long, and I'll say $4 on that. And then I have two trays here. Let me lift this tray up so I can get the other piece out because it, and while we're looking at coin jewelry you might like this coin bracelet so this has of course faux coins on it um, Queen Elizabeth the second I believe and it's got a nice big lobster clasp really cute cute piece gold coins let me see, I have to put these over this way. No, I think there's probably some missing right there, don't you? 
So maybe I shouldn't offer this because I think there's some missing that I didn't notice. Okay, I'm going to put this in the craft jar. All right, Bev. Your first deposit is our coin bracelet. And our next two deposits are these absolutely stunning bracelets. Isn't this sad? There's just one little stone missing in each one. One here and one here. But they're absolutely gorgeous. So you could still wear them. They have that kind of stretch that's not a stretch rubber band. It's the metal. And there's just one missing. Maybe someone would never notice. But... I'm going to put those in there because there's a stone missing on each. And while we're at it, Bev, I'm going to add this shell pin. Looks like someone made it. And these earrings were pretty cool, but they look like, um, they look like they light up from within and like they're crystal, but they are made of acrylic. And I'll show you what's wrong with the other one. It just came off of this part, which is almost nothing. You could just pop it back on there. So you can have a pair of earrings pretty easily. And then this cute little angel pin. I just, I can't throw it away. So I'm going to pass it along to someone that wants to craft with it. This is really cute. It's a bracelet. But, um... It needs a little work. As you can see, this chain is kind of stuck there, but the chain comes around and, oh, there it is. And it clasps here and you have this cute bracelet, but someone needs to put a little clasp on it. So there's that piece. And then we have these beautiful earrings. They are missing one stone. Isn't, doesn't that hurt? Ouchie. They're all glass, faceted glass, beautiful. Missing one. So in they go. And I can't throw the reindeer away, so I'm going to put that in too, okay? I hope you don't mind. And hopefully I'll put enough good things in there that you won't mind the cute little reindeer. Right, let's see what else I've been saving. Oh, it looks like I've got some goodies here. So this is such an adorable earring. Oh, if I could have found the second one, I'd be wearing those every day. This is like a cat eye glass earring. And look at that bead. Isn't that beautiful lamp work? But just one earring, so going to put it in the crafting jar. Some kind of gold ring. I don't think it's a real ring, but it could be used for jewelry. This is probably wood. This is sterling silver chain. It's not a whole chain, but it's pieces of chain. So I thought you could use those to make earrings or something. And I wanted to leave this paper in there so you know that that is sterling silver. Then we have, oh, I love this pin, but just one little chain was broken. So I had to put it into the craft, but it goes like this. I think I showed it to you before, and that one chain is broken. So that's going to go in our Bev craft jar. This necklace, nothing wrong with it. I think it says strength and it's on some pennies. So I'm going to put that in there. And these earrings, I cleaned them, but I just wasn't happy with them. So in they go. There is a pair. There's two of them. Let me try to find the other so I can show you that they're both going in. There we go. And then this lovely pen. It looks like, like a 9 karat gold. Um, it didn't test as gold. One stone missing there. Just lovely, though. So that goes in. This pin is going to go in, too. Um, I can't remember. I think there's some paint on the back or something, but pretty useful. This pin also, nothing wrong with it. Just, yeah, 
It's useful and you can wear it or you can craft with it. These earrings are so beautiful. The stones right here are dark. They're not missing. They're just a little bit dark. And it almost looks like they're supposed to be like they're in a checkerboard pattern, doesn't it? It looks like they're green and clear. So it looks like on purpose that they're supposed to be like that, but I can't be sure. And they do need a little cleaning, so I'm gonna put them in here. This earring looks like this. The little enamel fell off, but it's right here. And then this bracelet I thought was very cool, but I didn't know what to make of it, so I'm gonna put that in the craft jar as well. So there you go with that piece. This is an eyeglass holder, lovely colors. So I'll put that in, looks like an earring is stuck to it. And this looks like an oldie. So I'll put that in, isn't that a beautiful piece of glass with that bead on the end and the brass fitting, oh, it's so pretty. And look at the cute ring, isn't that sweet? So that goes in. Let's see what kind of bangles we could fit in there. They don't always want to fit. So we'll put that. Put that earring. That little guy. What else have I got? Oh, I thought these were really pretty too, but a little too much wear. And hey, wait a minute. There's one of these. I think up here. I'm going to put this up here because I think that is the second one to a pair. And then there's some like little ring things, house something or other, some doodads that you can work with. And an earring, another earring. This is a turtle necklace. Um, yeah, it just broke right there. So. Nice chain, cute little turtle, but we're going to put that in. This is a sterling silver, just a little tiny, like a toe ring. And I don't know, I haven't really sold any, so I'm just going to put it in there so you can enjoy it, or you can craft with it, whatever you want to do. This is one of those, um, what do you call it? Well, Patrick James is the name of the bracelet. And I'm going to put that in there. So, that's that for now. I'll put a couple more things on the top in a minute. And finish it off. Oh, I know what I want to put on it. This cougar looks like it broke right there off of something. It's quite beautiful. It's all encrusted with stones, but I wouldn't know what else to do with it. And... This earring, I think, is a single, so we'll put that in. What else? What else? I do want to move along here. I would like to put this necklace in if I can. It's not too big. If I can fold it up and get it in there. No, I don't think so. All right, we'll do that another time. I just would like to top this off. We have these two adorable earrings that are made of like a polymer clay. Aren't they cute? So I'll put those in there too, okay? And that's good. That's really good for the Bev craft jar. And I will say 25 on Bev. And you let me know if you want that. And I'll put some bubble wrap on the top and then some tape and ship it off to you. So, hope you love it. There's lots of sparklies and hopefully lots of great things you can use and some sterling silver too. So, that's that one. Next, I have these. These are really cute. They test sterling. They are sterling silver bead balls, but they're on a little bit of a stretch. And they look really cute. So I'm going to sell the pair for $10. And that's for sterling. 
Then we have these. These are a designer earring. Um, Dawn Lynn, D-O-N-L-I-N. It's a pretty big name in jewelry, and I think his wife designs as well. So their pieces go really well. And I'm going to say 18 on these. They're pierced. They're in great shape. They're signed right on the bottom. Dawn Lynn. And they're a fuchsia um, um, painted and gold tone. So I hope you love that. Then we have this. It's a peace sign. I think this might be a Kirk's Folly. I have another necklace that's a Kirk's Folly that the name tag fell off of, but I can't be sure. But it does look very Kirk's Folly. It just doesn't have a tag. So there's the back. And it's got faux pearls and all these AB crystals on it. And some also, as you come up the chain, it has some as well. It measures... 18 inches and then you have another three or four inches if you love that i'll say five dollars on that the next we have this elephant chain it looks like it's on brass but i think it's meant to look like an antiqued gold and it looks like it has an opal i don't think that's a real opal I just don't know, but there's your chain. It's on a lobster clasp, and it's on a long chain. Oops, I, yeah, okay. It's 28 inches, and then you have another 3 inches on top of that. So it's probably not opal. Just meant to look like one, yeah, that's acrylic. So if you like the elephant, I'll say $3 on that. What do we have here? Um, it looks like a lobster clasp, little dots of gold tone beads, and cute little hearts. And that's the necklace. So we have this piece. And they are very soft, like a brushed gold tone. I thought that was really cute and someone might like that so measure that for you hope I'm not going too fast this is 16 inches 16 to 18 because it's got a couple inch extender and it's in good condition so I'd say four dollars on that next I don't know the call for something like this it is a scarf pin. It's beautiful. I like that textured back. It's just a beautiful, strong scarf pin. If no one takes it, you know that I can use it in my jewelry bags. But I will say $5 on that. I just think it's stunning. And if you like it, let me know. This is a vintage rhinestone tennis style bracelet I thought it was really worthy of selling because it just seems to be a high quality piece I did clean it up it just looks nice very nice so there you go a very tiny diamond looking rhinestone bracelet it just feels nice it moves nice I think I've come to learn better quality jewelry without having to need a name because it's just the way things are put together and made that makes a real big difference. So this is eight and a quarter inches. So nice big bracelet. And I'll say six dollars on that beautiful piece. What else do we have? Oh, another thing with little hearts on it. Okay, this looks like a little bracelet. It is signed. These are the things from the Tangle video that I am just now getting to. So this says PL10K. So I'm gonna guess that that's 10 karat gold plated. Oh, it's broken right here. Doesn't have the spring. 
So 10 karat gold plated, cute little bracelet is gonna go on the top of our Bev jar. So if you got the jar, then just know that you got 10 karat plated bracelet in there, okay? I would say that's what it would be. Um, yeah, it does magnet just a little bit, sticks to the magnet a tiny bit. So I just put it in the top of that craft jar. Okay, how many minutes are we in? Oh, we're at an hour already. Okay, I did promise whoever got these earrings that I would show the necklace and offer that as well. So someone bought the earrings that go to this. Um, it is from Icing. It's beautiful. I had about 10 people want the earrings. They were really cute. So here's the necklace. Great shape. And it measures about 18 inches, a little bit longer than that. And that's your necklace. You'll recognize it if you love those earrings. Oh, what do I say for a price on this? I'll do $5 on that. Okay. This I can't figure out. It's called SJ. It looks like it was gold plated. Um, I don't know. Does anyone know what that would mean right there? Can't figure that out. So don't know what to do with that yet. This is a bracelet that says Kelly on it. It's on a vintage gold tone box chain. And it's cute. Looks like maybe porcelain. And it's probably 18 inches. Yes, it's 18 inches vintage chain with the name Kelly. And I'll say $4 on that. Oh, I gotta lift up my tray. I forgot that I have things on the other tray. So let's try to get through this one quick because I have this absolutely gorgeous piece. Remember this sterling silver and um, abalone and mother of pearl, and it has crystals and marcasites all over it. It's so beautiful. It is a Mark Anthony, very vintage necklace, older spring ring. Again, all sterling silver, there's your extender. There's your chain, and it has these little flat parts in the chain, which I thought was really cool. So let me put that on the buster so you can see what it looks like. Just needs a little fixing because the pieces can flip sometimes, but isn't that so beautiful? A little bit of a Y drop, oh my goodness. So it's got pink, and then you see some of the green in the pink, and then you've got green stones here. It's just a beautiful necklace for sure. Um, 925 Mark Anthony, and I have a price of $80 on it. I researched them and saw them go for more, so I thought I would put it for 80, which is lower than what they're going for so let me know it's a lot of beautiful vintage well-made jewelry right there all those wonderful pieces all sterling if you went to a store to buy just a silver chain you'd pay eighty dollars so i think this is really worth it give you one more close-up before i measure it I'm sure it's going to be 18. Everything seems to be 18 at this time. Oh, actually, it's almost 20 inches. So there you go. If you'd like that for 80, let me know. Beautiful, older piece. And here's that other Alex and Ani sterling silver bracelet I was thinking about. I had two people that wanted either a J or a G at, at Thanksgiving, I can't remember. But $7, Alex and Ani sterling silver with, I think, a G on it. This piece that is from England and has the lapis on it, 
I definitely don't know what to do with this. It's so beautiful. Again, I think I'm just going to have to put it on eBay because I can't find anything like it. So I'll have to do that with it. It does have all the hallmarks inside. I did show you that before, which was pretty exciting. But again, I'm not going to know what to ask for that. So now, is this that other earring? It is. It must have fallen off. Isn't that funny? So we have a pair of silver tone earrings that clip in the back like that. They are like half hoops. And I'll say $3 on those. They're in good shape. And we also have this sterling silver bracelet. I think this is a company of Alex and Ani because I looked up what the I looked up the name of it. You can see the name in there twice. And it says Vintage 66. It's written out the whole word twice. It's certainly tested sterling silver for sure. And I looked this up and it said Alex and Ani uh, Vintage 66 bracelet. So maybe this is an early Alex and Ani. I don't know. I just know it's got some cute rope design. It's all sterling. It's, you know, sizable. And I'll say 15 on that. Oh, I don't think I'm going to finish, and I really wanted to finish. Um, I don't know if there's any interest in this piece, but I'll offer it anyway. We have the older spring ring clasp, gold tone metal. I think it's very pretty. And it's two chains. This one hangs in the middle of this one. It's in lovely condition. I did clean it. And it's a beautiful necklace. You've got your two chains here, and it hangs down really nicely. That's the back. It measures um, 18 inches to the first part right here, which is probably the most important part. So 18 inches to the top of that. So there you go, and I'll say $6 on that piece. this piece out because I'm going to put that aside. Okay, what can we finish up? And I did it again. I forgot to stop and tell you how to purchase. I'm really sorry, everyone. So if you see something you like, please email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. Please make sure you in include in your email video name, episode number, time stamps, and you can get those by pressing the pause button. The timestamp will be to the left and the full time of the video will be on the right. So make sure you get the time on the left. A brief description of what you love and the prices that were given, okay? So thank you for that. And I do hope you'll subscribe to my channel and leave a like and click the bell so you'll be notified when my next video comes out. Make sure that your device allows for YouTube notifications. Okay, that way you'll get your notification. There is so much left to show you and to price that there's no way I'll get it done in one video, in this video. So I am going to have to do one more. I really wanted to get it all in this time, but it's not going to happen. But I will leave with this beautiful piece. This is really surprising to me because it doesn't look like a lobster class belongs on here. But that's what's on there for now. So it has this multi-chain piece, three chains. Look at that. Isn't that so beautiful? And then the, um, the cameo. Now, I have no idea what it's made of. Um, it doesn't seem to be a shell. It's pretty. Let's just say it's a pretty piece. It's silver tone. It's very Victorian looking, and we will end with this piece. I love that little detail in the front. Really gorgeous. It is 15 inches long, and that's that one. 
I'll say $12 on that beautiful necklace, okay? So that's it for me. I'm gonna get busy making my thumbnail. We'll have one more video of me pricing the metallics, and then we'll get to open a new bag of jewelry. But I might stop in between and do something different, so we'll see how things go. I just know I have a thumbnail to make, and I had a great time. I hope you had a lovely time, too. And that I'll see you on the next one. I hope you found some things that you like, too. And that I'll get your email and make you very happy. I will say that I don't think I've had an unhappy person yet. The emails say that people love their jewelry that they really it's more than they expected which is always nice to hear and i'm just really happy to make others happy so i'll get to work and we'll see you next time at the baubles bye hey guys it's sherry with blessed baubles and i want to thank you so much for all your comments about what i should call my other channel that um, will be about crochet and knit. I had a lot of great responses, so thank you so much for that. A lot of really great names. I also want to thank every one of you that has watched my videos and subscribed and hit the like button and have sent me comments. I really appreciate everything. It's, it's changed my life, so it's been a great lot of fun. I hope you've had fun, and I hope that whoever's new and watching this will decide to subscribe too, because we're going to open a lot more boxes and find a lot more good things. So thank you all very much from the bottom of my heart, okay?